So to create HTML, we need an editor. And there's a lot of editors out there that you can think about using. There are editors like Adobe's Dreamweaver, which are full-blown, almost near WYSIWYG editors for HTML. And then there's a lot of other really sophisticated editors out there that help you with things like syntax checking, uh, code highlighting, all kinds of things. But in this tutorial, we're actually going to do something a little different. We're going to use the simplest editor we can possibly use, and that is text edit on the Mac. Now, the reason we're doing that is because we want to focus on HTML. We don't want to focus on a lot of the features that these editors give us. That said, if you have these editors, if you know these editors, if you own these editors, well, we encourage you to use them. But we're going to keep it simple, and we're going to fly without a safety net, and we're going to use a very simple editor. Again, text edit in the set of tutorials. So at this point, Elizabeth's going to take us through setting up our environment and getting text edit so it's ready to edit our HTML. So let's jump in and get you set up and ready to write HTML. We're going to use text edit, which is a basic text editor that comes installed on every Mac. So to find text edit, just open up your applications window and scroll to the bottom and you'll find text edit. So I'm going to double click to open that and I'm going to resize the window a bit and close the applications window and we're now ready to go. First, you'll notice that there's some rich formatting text tools up here at the top and we want to get rid of those because HTML is a plain text format. So to get rid of those rich text tools up at the top, we can use the format make plain text menu option. Now, if you don't want to have to remember to do that every time you open text edit to write HTML, you can also use the text edit preferences. So I'm going to open up the preferences. And the first thing I want to do in the new document tab is to change from rich text to plain text. And then in the open and save tab, I want to check on ignore rich text commands in HTML files and check off add.txt extension to plain text files. So I can close that and we're now ready to type. First, to make sure you know how to get a file loaded into the browser, I'm just going to type in some plain text. This is a test and save the file. I'm going to save it using the file save menu and save it in the HTML folder that I've already created on my desktop. I'm going to give this file the name index.html and I'm going to leave the plain text encoding to Unicode and I'm going to make sure that hide extension is not checked so that we can see the .html extension on our file. So I'm just going to click Save. So I've now saved this file in the HTML folder and so the next step is to get index.html into a browser. The easiest way to do that is to just double click it and it'll open it in the default browser on your Mac which is typically Safari. You can also drag the file into the browser if you want to do it that way as well. Now you might notice up at the top here that the URL for this file is file colon slash slash, which is a little different from what you're used to seeing, which is HTTP colon slash slash. This just means that we've loaded the file from your local file system rather than from the web. So that's all there is to setting up your environment and getting a text editor ready to use. But before we start writing HTML, we'll take a quick look at your browser in the next video.